All right, we're live. Hi, guys. I am just adjusting the camera so you can see me well, and I'm just going to make sure that I can see you guys on my laptop, and then we can begin. It is uh, May 30th. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. My birthday and also the wrap up Sunday live to the Hello Clarice G challenge. So I'm super excited uh, for today. I'm going to keep it short uh, because I have plans and uh, just get through a bunch of things before I can see there's like four or six people rolling in. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to kind of come in and then uh, we will begin. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Ritu. Oh, I feel so special. Oh, and I'm wearing my floral dress that I told you guys I would. Thanks, Pamela. That's who PB Martin is. Pamela Martin, now I have a face. Thanks, Barbara. Uh, so I can see everyone's kind of rolling in. That's great. It's still showing me six, but that's okay. We can begin. Um, because I, I think maybe people were thinking I'm going to be a little bit late because I normally am a couple of minutes late, but today I am on time. Um, okay, so really quickly, I'm going to just tell you guys, the challenge has been absolutely phenomenal, amazing. I love the reviews. I love everyone's work and especially the bonus challenge just to see everyone's picture with their work has been truly... Um, I don't even have words for it. Like, it's just so nice to put a face... To the work and just to the beautiful comments you guys have been sharing on Facebook so thank you so much for being a part of that thanks Artie thanks Lydia thanks Didi thanks Yasmin um, so as I was saying previously the challenge will always be available this was the first run uh, of me kind of testing it out and just to see how things would work out and I think it's been amazing so it's going to continue running I'm trying to figure out a way where people who have recently signed up are able to kind of get the emails one by one just like I've been doing for the last four weeks uh, on an automated system and if I cannot figure that out it might just have to go out in one email but let's just see, what did you guys think? Can, can you guys just let me know if you enjoyed the fact that you were able to get it on the day it was kind of, like on a certain day, as opposed to just giving you a whole bunch of links and saying, here, just finish it within the month. Uh, let me know if you felt like there was more accountability towards, like accountability involved, because that sends you the email, like the links to the, to the videos trickling in kind of like each day or if you like it in one shot just let me know guys and uh cindy no worries you can you can complete it anytime you want this was just like a test trial run because li literally i was doing the videos every week which is why i couldn't do my regular videos because these were not pre-planned i kind of just decided to do a challenge and just went with it Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Daria. Thanks, Bobby. Oh, everyone's coming in. Uh, okay, Ritu says one, one in, one in an email is good. Yeah. Love knowing the date you would be sending. Okay, great. So this is good because um. Um. Yeah, let's just see. This is just for the Hello Clarity Challenge. You guys have already done it, but this feedback is good. Um, I'll have to figure it out, guys, because I know there's a bunch of people who've signed up after we finished as well, and I just need to figure out how I can get it done, as opposed to me. Yeah, because I would like for, like, if someone signs up today, I would like for them to kind of get it every couple of days, just like we've been doing on an automated system, as opposed to me doing it, right? Anyways, um, that was one thing. The next thing I want to say is I am going to be doing a mini challenge and this is going to be via the Facebook group or community that we have going. So starting tomorrow, you guys, either tomorrow or Tuesday, maybe tomorrow, let's just make it tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday. Starting tomorrow, you guys should be getting 
a little challenge just like you did in your email except this is going to be on the Facebook group and uh, with a link to a video and whatever and you guys can have at it because I know you guys are on a roll and you just want to keep on going so there you go um, I will be doing that and I'll probably make it like a week long and let's just see how we're feeling it and then go from there and for future I'm definitely planning and another challenge which we can do kind of like how we did it in this go and maybe Canson and Etcher and all these wonderful companies can still be a part of it on a larger scale I'm hoping 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 uh, so let's see I'm excited about that and uh, finally the giveaways so I have the winners right here and I don't know if everyone is on here but uh, I'm going to announce it here and then I'll also be posting the winners on the group and also on my Instagram. So if you guys are not if you guys are not following me there, I'm getting a phone call coming in. Let me just decline. I feel bad declining. Um, but yes, as I was saying, uh, Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely definitely follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's hello Clarice G that's it okay winners okay drum roll so uh, oh my neighbors here thanks Natalie my boo thing you actually showed up to kind of represent your girlfriend here on live Natalie would rather watch um, paint dry on the wall than than watercolor apparently so this is a big deal that she's coming on my birthday to come uh, give a shout out. All right, okay, winners. So for the Etcher $15 credit, the winner is Barbara Farrell. I don't know if Barbara is here. Uh, for the Canson, I'm going to say Canson, uh, the first book, it's Kanchan. I don't know if Kanchan's here. For uh, the Canson uh, second book, it's Michelle Henkel. Now, Michelle, I think, is. Uh, from Australia, so I don't know if she's on here right now or not, but again, I'll be mentioning this everywhere else um, and Then finally for the st. Petersburg colors uh, I know you're here. Uh, the winner is Bobby Sinclair. So congratulations guys Fabulous work be proud of yourselves that you guys were able to like stick through it uh, and be disciplined and dedicated to doing like 12 no 13 challenges with the bonus so oh michelle's here i know it's like 4 a.m or something crazy over there so congrats guys um but yeah congrats to everyone who's done this and felt amazing at the end of it all uh watercolor is supposed to be something not just to create something pretty but also an outlet for yourself and kind of like a therapy I know there's a lot of lockdowns and there's a lot of weird stuff happening and feelings and emotions because you can't see loved ones and COVID and pandemic and blah, blah, blah. So I'm really hoping that this challenge has been there for you and helped you kind of not just grow, but just be at peace with yourself, spend time with yourself and just an outlet to create something beautiful that's coming from within. So that was the whole point of this. All right. Okay. Uh, Natalie says congratulations to all the winners. Thanks, boo. I'll see you outside. Okay, you can go continue on your couch now. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, today it's 2.10. I am going to keep today's painting really, really, really short because uh, I have an important phone call to take right after, and that's like the other side of the pond, so they're going to be sleeping very, very soon. But um, so I'm going to switch over the camera and we are going to start very, very quickly. I contemplated not doing a painting today, but then I thought it is my birthday. I should do a painting. So I'm going to do something quick and fun and hopefully easy for you guys. I have my, I have everything here ready. I'm just going to push everything over so you can not just see me but you can also see my work all right uh, let me see okay awesome so I think 
Are you, is it clear? Can you guys see my desk clearly? Can you see my hand clearly? Or is it a little bit fuzzy? Just let me know. And I can uh, adjust things accordingly. Okay. I think you guys can see it clearly. So while I am uh, rambling on about being clear and whatnot, I'm going to tell you what we're using for today. Um, for today, we're going to be using these colors. I'm going to use the swatch from the challenge to tell you what I'm using. So green, cadmium medium lemon, yellow ochre, uh, English red, carmin, golden, and uh, Mars, Mars brown. Yes, Mars brown. So this is what we're using. And for brushes, I'm going to be using the mop number one. And then just going to get my fancy brush holder and take out the number four. And then also we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to keep the number eight handy just in case. And then there we go. We are good to begin. So, um, just looking at the comments really quickly. Okay, good. Everyone's good to go. Perfect. So let's begin because I don't want to keep this too, too long. And all right. So I have my etcher sketchbook here, and this is what we're going to be using. Uh, my, my little palette is ready. And my, my son is here because someone's at the door. What is it? Okay, don't don't open the door if you don't know who it is, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um Okay. I got a little bit distracted because no one's at home and it's just the kids and uh Yeah. Alright, we're gonna start. So starting, we're gonna do the um We're, we're going to start off by doing, we're, I'm reading, I'm reading Kanchan's comment and I'm a little bit distracted. You're at the party Kanchan and you won. So congratulations. Um, okay. So we're doing a pot of flowers. And so we're going to start off by doing the flowers first. And so for that, I'm going to be using a combination of number four and the number one mop brush. And we're going to start mixing colors very, very quickly. So I am going to be mixing the Carmen with my number one mop. You guys can see that right here, right? Yes, just want to make sure. So mixing some of the Carmen on here. And then I am going to start off by doing some little florals or the big florals. So starting off right here, we're going to do some almost like poppies, I would say. So I'm pressing down to get like a nice little fan of color and then pulling down all the color this way. And then I'm going to do the same kind of technique all around, just adding a little extra pink and Pushing down this way again. Notice how uh, I'm kind of pushing all the color downward to get that. And to get the color to the bottom, again, I'm pushing it downward on this side. And then finally dipping the tip of my brush in water, I'm doing it again over here. And getting this loosey looking poppy kind of floral. It's very, very light, I know. So now we're gonna go in with the number four and we're getting a darker hue. And I'm just gonna add it at the bottom of this floral and allow it to kind of seep in. And I'm just gonna add a couple of it, a couple of strokes at the top as well. It is amazing. I just got a call from my sister. 
It is amazing that uh, I, no one's been calling me all day. And now when I am with you guys, all of a sudden I'm getting all these phone calls. Amazing, right? When that happens. Um, anyways, yeah. So I'm just kind of moving the color around to get that nice mixed hue. And then I'm also, I also want to do this. I want to get some of the golden. And I want to add a little bit of it, maybe at the edges. Just here and there. And then I'll mix the rest of it down here. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing again. Just to do another one of these poppy type florals. I'm going to take a little swipe of the golden here and then just do the floral here. So same technique. We're just using the brush to press down and kind of move all the color downwards. And allowing it to blend into one another nicely. just like this. So this one's a lot lighter as you can see but you can see those nice hints of golden and pink and we're doing the same thing about getting the darker hues and just adding it to the center so it'll flare out. All right I'm just going to add some to the edges, take some of the golden even and add that to the edges as well. Make it nice and soft looking and loose looking, pretty bright florals. Um, if you want to add some more of the, the Carmen, just go ahead and add some more. I'm making these poppies clearly a lot lighter than what they typically are. So feel free to get them darker if that's what you wish. I'm going to highlight and add some additional strokes around the top and whatnot. And by doing it while it is damp this way, it's giving me that nice flare of color. And then finally, I'm going to just take some of the leftover Carmen and I'm just going to do a couple of loose looking. Look at that, another call. Just loose looking uh, buds. That's what I'm talking about. So I'll do one bud there, another one here. And then finally, like poppies are nice and floppy-ish almost, right? So it would be nice to maybe have one just at the top. Just like this. And then finally, Um, we have that, so I'm just going to get some of the Carmen and just add it at the bottom of these little bits that I've done. Spreading it out a bit here with the number four. Okay, and uh, now we can get some of the green and add the green in there. So I'm going to get my dark green and I'm mixing it up with some of the leftover golden that I have. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. And I want this like lighter sort of green happening. And while this is still nicely damp, I'm just going to add it to the bottom of these. And let's get some nice cute little poppy stems. And let's do one over here. This one I should have done it from the top, just like an umbrella style. Oh well, it's okay. It's all good. Just adding some of the darker hue of green at the edges. And then finally I'm going to add some over here. And that's it. So we've got that. And now we'll just add a couple of like loosey looking florals and then we can add some green leaves. Actually, while we have the number four still happening, why don't we just add some green leaves? Just some loose looking ones. They do not have to be correct to poppies. I just want them to be 
screen and kind of interacting with what we have here. And I'm just going to do a couple more. Just very loosely like that. And then let's do one. Uh, let's do one over here. Just like that. And then again, we're try and get that darker green and just add it to the edge or to the bottom of the um, the petals, sorry, the leaves and the stems that you're doing. Just give it that nice transition of dark to light. So we'll leave those for now and I'm just going to rush and do the, the little golden florals that we, not golden, yellowy florals that we are going to do right now and this should be a nice little soft contrast to our bright pink. Not even a contrast, just like another blend, I guess. So I'm getting a 70-30% um, mix. And then we're going to do some very basic florals to the side. And I'm just doing them like these little daisies or, yeah, Gerber daisies, I guess you could call them. And leaving them very loose and taking the number four and getting some of the yellow ochre I'm gonna blend in some of that with this flower and let's do like maybe three of them and if you guys want to embellish them and do more with this feel free to do that I wanted to do a nice little quick version of the painting for today and so this is gonna be it so I'm not gonna to be too fancy with what I'm doing uh, but keeping it loose and basic but pretty at the same time. So just adding this nice darker yellow ochre there. We're going to continue doing some of the medium cadmium medium lemon florals. Let's do another one here. Just like that and then going in with the yellow ochre. I'm going to get a couple of strokes in on the petals first and then doing the center. Leaving white space. Don't forget to leave white space. And then I'm just dotting the center to kind of give it a darker hue. And then let's just do one more over here and then I think that should be fine. We'll add some greenery to it. Same technique, just adding some yellow ochre. Keeping it light and airy. That's great. Um, I might even add some of this golden to it, guys. So just kind of go in and add some golden if the yellow is too bright for your liking. I'm just adding it sporadically into various random petals for this. Perfect. And then I'll we just do a little bit of a splatter. Just to where these are. Okay. So now we're, we'll put these on hold and we'll create the the potted the pot potted the pot and so for that we're going to use number eight again and the main bit of the pot's going to be the english red so mixing some of the english red on here i'm going to get a very muted version of it and then we're going to create the base the top base of it which is like a rectangular portion for it so kind of try and go in between the petals and then just create a very basic looking rectangle i'm dipping the tip in water and now i'm just smooshing or spreading the 
English red out, getting more water, and now I'm just kind of going around the petal, spreading it out some more. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is go back, get some of that English red, and just apply it into these areas here so that it can spread out and be rich in color. Adding these dabs of this nice brick red almost. Just around the areas where the floral petals are to kind of give it like a shadowy kind of look. But we're gonna go in with another shadowy look. So dipping the tip of my brush in water, we're gonna do the bottom half of this pot. So I'm gonna add a little line here. I'm leaving some white space between the top and the bottom half. And then I'm going to try and make this as symmetrical as possible. And I don't know if it is or isn't. But uh, giving the bottom a slight bit of a curve. Now going in with water, I'm going to just move all this color around. And I'm trying to leave some white space as well. And now, going in back and highlighting it with the darker colors, just like I did for the top half. So pushing it around, adding some color at the bottom, mainly to the sides, giving, like, working to get that nice blend now that the paper is nice and damp. Trying to leave those white space spaces in. Get our nice bright pot. Now that we have this in, we're gonna go in and get some of the Mars Brown and add some of that um, in certain areas to give it that nice dark and light shadow. So I'm adding some of the Mars Brown just at the top here. Additional shadowy bits just on this side mainly and then on over here just at the bottom just getting some color directly from the palette and I'm adding it to our pot and I'm just going to give it some linear lines so that when it dries it gives us that nice two-tone hue and then obviously to the bottom as well because it should be added to the bottom too. Perfect. And leave it as this way. And then I'm just going to take, I've washed up the color just using water on the brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the bottom of this to try and get some shadow effects because I want to try and draw some color from the pot have it bleed onto the page you don't have to do the shadow if you're not keen on it now I'm just getting some of the Mars Brown and just kind of swooshing some in in here Just like this. All right, perfect. Leaving that as is. Not gonna do anything else there. Now we'll kind of wrap this up with by adding some green, uh, some more greenery, and then we are good to go. So for the greenery, um, I've got some nice yellow on there already the cadmium lemon so i'm adding some of the darker green and i'm just going to add in some more of this uh, yellow ochre 
And just to kind of mute the green a little bit. Hopefully get like a warmer green. And, um, and now we're just going to add some leaves to these yellowy florals that we have. So I'm just going to add some stems first and then some leaves happening or stems with leaves happening here. Feel free to give it some flow and movement. I'm going to try and make these leaves smaller and fun. Maybe even like a larger stem here or, sh or smaller stem, sorry, with another set of leaves protruding. Just like that. So this way we have some hierarchy with the leaves. Um, another one happening over here. I'm not trying to interfere with the with the poppy style florals that we have going on. Um, let's see, there's some over here too, so we can have some flowing out this way too. And just fanning those out there. Just gonna get some more of this green and add some leaves happening over here. Notice when I add my leaves, I kind of give it some direction here and there. I just like feel I feel like it adds some direction to the movement to the whole painting. Adding a couple of green dots to the center of these flowers. Now that it's fairly dried up. And my hope is that the darker contrast with the yellow will kind of make it pop some more. And I think it's doing a good job so far. And then finally, I think um, we can use some dark, some of the dark green to highlight and add some darker centers to the poppy style florals that we have. And then we are done. So I'm just kind of getting, I got some dark green directly from the uh, green palette and I'm just adding a couple of dabs leaving as much white space as I can and just kind of going around in a dotted manner there we go I'm leaving it just like that so feel free to add and embellish and add some additional tinier florals if you want but this is going to be it for today, guys. My little flower pot. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me just read the comments to see what people are saying. And then we're going to wrap up. Um, hi, Judy. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Thanks, guys. Okay, everyone has been... So nice. Hi, Deborah. Looks like you guys are watching a baseball game. So that's it. I'm going to leave it as at this and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this session. Um, feel free to try it out. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, hello, Clarice G on Instagram. So don't forget that. Can't wait to see your work, guys. And have a fabulous, fabulous day. Um, love you all. And winners, I will po be posting again the names in case you missed and you've joined in late or just watch the replay of this later. All right, guys, um, I think that's it. I'm going to go out right now and meet my neighbors and have some time with the kids and whatnot and just check to see who was at the door. <laughs> All right, guys, for the last time, have a fabulous, fabulous Sunday. Bye.